Good morning everyone. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Happy Easter Sunday by the way. Uh, today I want to finish my house tour. I want to do the two main remaining sections. The guest bathroom and the guest bedroom. And then um, my master bedroom and then obviously my master bathroom. I should call it my, I don't want to say mistress because mistress has a different name and I'm also not master. What should I call it? My, <laughs> my be main bedroom and my uh, main uh, bathroom. And before I move on, I remember the last time I did my house tour for the two videos. By the way, I did mention in the first video of the living room because of size limit issues that I've been experiencing. I record something, whether it's 10 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and then size limit, the whole content disappears. And then imagine having to redo it again and do all the talking and all that. It's tiresome. So I've, been, I've decided I'll be doing the house tour videos in phases uh you know to avoid such issues and i saw someone commenting like oh isn't this the entire house tour please read the title of the video because i say it's something like exclusive house tour of my bungalow and then i put in it and is it a colon no it's not a colon that kaline <laughs> you know and then i say living room and then i say kitchen so read the video of the title it's not like i'm misleading you because some of the comments are trying to make me feel like oh i'm misleading you that i was going to give you a whole house tour and then i only gave you a small section and then one other irritating comment was um oh the the nini this looks like a shoe video so it's not a house tour video if the shoe rack is in my living room i'm going to talk about the shoe rack and if the shoe rack has shoes i'm going to talk about the shoes it's my video it's my living room i'm going to talk about whatever it's in there if the shoe rack was in my bedroom when i got to the bedroom i would still talk about the shoes and the shoe rack but then i forgot to mention that shoe rack was handmade uh, that's the fun thing about being here in kenya you can just go get you know whether it's your chairs your stools yeah you you they are custom made that's what i meant uh, obviously most things some things are handmade but those are custom made so some people seemed irritated that i'm talking about my shoes i mean if you don't like it you don't have to watch it you know so um because it's my video it's you know i show whatever is in that room is like i said the other irritating comment was oh the video is so long and it's so boring if it's boring exit you don't need to watch it this is my house it's the first time that i've built a house so i'm proud and excited to actually show you the house you know and i know it's boring because it's unfinished but that's normal why are you acting like you've never seen unfinished houses out there and because they're unfinished for you it's boring like if it's boring for you that's fine but guess what this is my million shilling boring house so yeah i have an expensive boring house and if you're not you don't like it you don't have to watch it you know you can just exit to be honest so for instance i was thinking um if you buy a car whether it's a second hand car and it's a new car and you want to show people hey this is my car look at the color look at the make look at the sound system look at the doors look at the leather the seating look at the lighting and then someone watches it and they're like ah that video is so long and it's so boring what's your business if you don't like it don't watch it it's my house and it's boring that's fine like honestly and I love it and I'm proud of it and I'm gonna show it. So this is a disclaimer. If you're one of those people who are like, oh, it's boring, don't watch it. Don't watch the rest of this video because there's no big difference uh, with the other two videos that I've posted. So yes, it's gonna be boring for you. So disclaimer, don't watch the rest of this video if you found my other videos to be boring. Um, so yeah like i was comparing my house to like for instance a, a new car or whatever like you're proud of it you know like even if it's your dress maybe you want to show people hey look at this dress that i bought or this jacket that i bought and then you start giving the details and then someone is like it's boring you don't understand from your perspective it's boring because for you it's just content but for me by the way i'm excited to show and i'm very proud of it like hey guys look at my house because i can't believe like i'm actually telling people look at my house like it's almost like sometimes i feel like i'm dreaming to be honest so 
yeah it's unfinished maybe you're used to seeing is it celebrities or people who have a lot of money that have furnished their houses and they show you all these nice and glamorous stuff which is fine because they've earned it and they've it's they've made their house beautiful and yes it's good to be shown sour because me too when i get the money and finish my house i'm still gonna show you maybe then you would say it's boring or maybe you'll still say it's boring because my taste and your taste would not be the same so if you're used to like glamorous life then you don't know me you don't know my content me um as real as i am i i have said in a previous video i consider myself kenyeji i'm not gonna be out there trying to show you Sijui, what i'm not uh the glamour and the glitz i show you my reality the good the bad and the ugly so if my life is boring to you then you're not my type of viewer or my audience because there are people who are interested in my content by the way whether it's me just walking around my farm and showing them the boring farm life that i'm living because honestly i'm not living like an exciting life i feel like i'm living a boring life but it's very should i say peaceful for me so i know i don't have the excitement to sh my things are not exciting and my things are not for everybody um i was watching someone's video about an unfinished house tour and i was glued to the screen because i was really interested in the unfinished house because i'm also walking in the same shoes as these people actually it was miano muthi's video for chalo and lynette ke i haven't finished seeing it all go and check it out but um yeah the house is unfinished but i was impressed with the kind of design that they have you know the difference from their my house to their house like for me I think it was so interesting but I'm thinking the people who are saying my video is boring I'm sure if they watch that maybe they'll say it's boring I'm a, you know maybe they're biased so yeah all I can say is that if you find my videos boring I'm sorry I can't control that you have the choice to watch the videos that entertain you with that said let's do my boring bathroom uh, guests and my bathroom and bedroom tours so the lighting in most of my house like i've said before it's very dim so the video quality will not be as bright because sometimes when i try to put the flash it tells me flash you know has to be turned off so that the battery doesn't overheat so the flash won't last long so let's start so here we have this section that you enter into the guest bathroom and guest toilet uh, area and i didn't want to put a door here I think in the future if I want to I can but I don't see the point of putting a door because here is the guest toilet it already has a door and then here is the guest bathroom that also has a door so I don't see the need of putting a, a door in this section over here so yeah like the rest of the places we still haven't done any painting I think the wall doesn't have a lot of work to do to go uh to be done before we start painting again see those minor mistakes that we still have uh in most sockets i think when they were doing the roof again see a lot of these nitazita dents see a lot of them and uh yeah we have this mirror i'm really glad that i put this mirror before i finished painting the house fundi mwangi but there is the one who helped me to Put this mirror i don't know if i've mentioned it in a previous video but i think i have that he said this car wood is necessary even though the mirrors are screwed because it just in case of anything the mirror wouldn't fall down um i see these spots here i don't know where they came from i don't think nirangi so i'm thinking maybe it's the quality of the mirror because it wasn't like this when it was bought but i love this huge size mirror you can really see yourself well in it um yeah see like this top section here i think here on the wall i think i'm gonna put photos you i think by now you know i love a lot of pictures the ones I and i would buy people's photos i'll actually print my own and put my own photos so if you come to my house when it's finished there'll be photos everywhere in this all of these walls and yeah here's my laundry basket but then when i was growing up in kenya because i went to the states after high school me i never 
so laundry baskets in Kenya. I mean, Lionel laundry basket in the US, but now they are everywhere um, in Kenya, which I really like. So I put my laundry baskets here, my karais, all the detergents and stuff. And by the way, I recycle, say I told you, I do my things old school. I recycle my soap. I'll put them here because I think once they kuja up or once they get filled over there, I'm gonna melt them and see if I can create some soap. So yeah, here's the wash area or the sink area for this section of the guest bathroom. Nothing fancy. And yeah, we have water now. Thank God the plumbing is working on this section. Nothing really. Oh, here, when we were working with the electrician, he was saying we put this night wire. There's too many dressing, dressing lights. You know, like he, he wanted there to be lights over there, but I don't see the point because once I change the bulb here, this section is going to be so bright and we're going to have that. And then we have this little gauge valve, up a gate valve. I honestly don't know near Wapi, near Nini, easy bathrooms. I don't know. So here's the guest bathroom. Um, so for the bathrooms, uh, I didn't put mahogany door. Um, yeah, so all the rooms have the mahogany, the heavy wood door, but this one is just simple and light. And then, oh, my gray tiles. A couple people who visited me have told me I have cute tiles. I like these tiles. One, what I didn't want was to put the, you know when you go to most Kenyan houses, you find that those white and blue uh, flowered, tiles i felt like that was too standard too common and then i went for this because one these ones look so sophisticated you feel like eh, you're entering eh, this nice luxurious uh bathroom so i feel like they bring that luxurious feel to the bathroom and also they're gray i didn't want anything showing dirt you know that you have to scrub every day so i have this in all the bathrooms even my bathrooms as you see we haven't at jamaliza it's an unfinished bathroom unfinished house so that's where the hot shower is gonna go i believe nothing else like i told you some issues with the windows see kama ini mefunga nakamba because it just doesn't funga vizuri, doesn't lock well. Um, yeah, we have this tap that I guess every bathroom has. And it does have water. So that's why I've been fetching my water for my master bathroom because it has plumbing issues. Luckily now I don't have to fetch far from the outside. And it's I feel like it's a nice spacious bathroom for a guest bathroom. I feel like it's nice and spacious here you can it's 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 nice and spacious <laughs> um yeah fundi mwangi who helped me put this in it on an easy towel hangers so that's it really nothing fancy to show you in this bathroom to be honest yeah and these gray tiles these gray tiles are nice when washed i remember when they were putting the tiles one of the fundis was saying he doesn't like them because they look you know, dirty like here, as you see, but ah, I mean, I still like them. Uh, I do like them. So that's that for that section. The guest toilet is so, yeah, I don't have like, I only have my master bathroom. My master bedroom is the only one that's in suit. And then the other two bedrooms, because it's a three bedroom house, the other two bedrooms share this uh, bathroom and toilet. And I actually wanted, when I was building, I wanted the toilet and, th and the bathroom to be together. But my contractor was like, no, put them separate or have another extra toilet. I was like, no, there's no need for an extra toilet. Just one bathroom, one toilet in Atosha is enough. So he insisted we put them separate and that's fine. So I feel like it's also nice and spacious. Um, same tiling, same what should I say? Nothing special or different from the other one. Um, when I, I had a house help who helped me, and uh, in my bathroom, we removed this stuff because you know I had surgery and I needed to like adjust the toilet 
you know in a comfortable way because i had this commode that i wanted to put it there but for some reason me i don't know how she ended up removing this thing and i can't find the screws now that help to hold this toy so i'm like what was she doing like why why would she even do that and that's it i was gonna wash this toilet by the way nilieka is a fisher you know when we were in the states we used to buy this lavender it was it had a really strong a uh, lavender smell to it when you're washing but the ones that are bought here in Kenya they don't have that sm strong lavender smell so yeah I don't think I'll buy it again once I use it and that's it nothing special oh my bathroom so here you can't flush this nini let me show you you can't flush this toilet because I don't know if I'll manage with one hand. My nephew who I told you did the plumbing for me. These, you see these two, should I call them tongs? These two sticks are supposed to be so long when you close such that they touch these gray and orange buttons. However, this toilet now, even though the plumbing on this section of the house works, if I press these, those two tongs or sticks are supposed to touch those buttons so that the toilet can flush however because he he, he told me to he cut them because i came one day to test and i'm like why isn't this toilet flushing he's like oh paula you know what happened i i cut those nini sticks too low and i'm thinking that's such a simple task for a plumber he's been doing this i'm, I'm sure a million times how would he cut them so low that hazwezi guza nini hazwezi guza cho like i didn't get that so like i was so annoyed so now this toilet even if the plumbing is working even if we have water you can't flush it so now like for instance when kinachaloa here they had to like be fetching water from the bathroom to come and flush the toilet see how inconveniencing it is just because he made a simple mistake which i feel like should not have happened like he should have estimated that well because i'm assuming he does this for a living every day something else that i don't understand is that on this pipe here if i open the water for instance it leaks and i don't know why I don't understand but this but water leaks here uzuri when it leaks it just goes straight to there but still it keeps the bath the toilet damp so I don't understand what the, what's the issue with that but oh well see these two things oh she didn't to pad them now I've seen them so I don't know why she was opening so I need I'll, all, all I'll need to do is open this remove those bring that back and I think they share this those two buttons good so those are there glad I checked that with you guys so yeah that's it for my boring guest bathroom which I'm really proud of thanks to god i saw something that i wanted to show you guys see those two corners right there Pokuna gaping hole i don't know how that can be rectified but it's no big issue actually so now let's go check out my master area oh no let me show you one of the guest uh, rooms so now we are in my one of my guest rooms and I started with the window because I opened the curtains so that I could have enough light to film and I saw this dove that really likes being here and I think you remember the baby dove that I used to talk about it was in my videos it's this kind and when I see these guys around I'm assuming maybe they've got another baby so yeah this is one of the other guest bedrooms I'm not gonna show the other one because I've put stuff there you know like you know stuff like sugars and stuff right now it's acting like my pantry so i'm not gonna show that one but they're all the same design even my master so again walls not painted um so this is the closet area all my bedrooms have the same design and uh, this is my closet area and i used to rent this apartment in nairobi and i loved the closet design although it was so small i, I really liked it so that's the kind of closet design that i want so it basically had like big drawers to open over there and then you'd have like a hanging obviously it wasn't as big as this it was small and then you had this what should i call it hanging rod and then at the bottom there were some other drawers so that's the plan for this area we're still gonna put cabinets up the doors and the cabinets at the bottom 
nothing really special about this area something that i'm noticing is that crack up, up there can you notice there's a crack hapo i don't know what that's about and i don't know how that would be fixed i don't know what that means like i don't know i don't know why it's cracking over there but and i was told most people like the people who did my curtain rods told me that they were having a hard time putting the nails on the wall because my walls were so tough they said that this is one of the driest walls they've worked on meaning they were watered well so i don't know why the cracking is happening there i don't know someone tell me someone who understands construction so yeah all the rooms also have these pretty curtain rods which will need to be painted and finished someday again all my curtains i bought in gikomba these are second hand curtains and i like colors i like flowers so i love those um this vent seems to be a bit clearer you can see the light all through outside there's another vent in there most of them i think will need to be cleaned up nothing else to show you oh yeah i do have this double decker in all my well the two guest bedrooms and this one is the biggest guest bedroom which um we were when we were designing it i remember the architect told me i could even put two beds in this room so if i wanted to i think i have a lot of space to put another double decker here if i need to but for now this one will do and i bought this bed in nairobi i feel like nairobi have really good quality woodwork so yeah i really like this one the other one i don't know if you've ever seen it the wood kind of looks as light as this not just the color but even the quality so i feel like this is a better quality uh bed than the other one because even the other one when we started sleeping on it this wood would start the nails would start coming out so i feel like the quality i didn't like the quality of that the bodega that i bought here and that's it really um in this room we have double switches the idea was that you can switch the light from here you can switch off you can come into the room switch on the light from the door when you want to go to bed you can switch it off from here so that was the idea and nothing else to show you here in this boring room of mine again look at all this kind of mess like waliaka nelsuko Man, some people i don't know why people are just careless like do a good job so that if someone asks me who did this for you i can recommend them to you but people forget about tomorrow you think that once you're done with me that's it you don't remember about tomorrow so that's it guys for this room and all rooms are the same so i'm not going to show you the other one like i said it has a lot of my stuff in there and oh you might be wondering why we have this pole here because fundi mwangi was saying once this um rods are, are heavy once you put a lot of clothes and they're heavy they can you know in it they can pull down and they could even break from there from there so he suggested we put this rod katikati as you can see it's kind of shaky it's not like that strong of a rod so and this i think we could always paint it or even get a better wood to put in there but basically that's the purpose for that section so we're done in this area and uh, i do have a dustbin for all each and every room stacky pata pata makaratasi around so yeah let me go ahead now and show you my master bedroom by the way guys my house is very simply designed it has a corridor hakuna ile kupiga piga corners you when you're trying to get to this room or that room so it's just as simple as this and uh, again you see i have so much space on these walls i'm gonna put so many pictures <laughs> in this house like picture everywhere picture everywhere that's what i'm gonna do and they're all gonna be pictures that i've taken and those that have meaning to me so i can't wait to get to that stage but yeah that's as simple it's such a simple design as this one hakuna kona kona mingi these things really are so many of them so many of them see so many of them see 
wao watu walifanyia vibaya but here oh here we have this pipe that we put with my electrician and i think the objective was sijui one day at the gate we're gonna put like you know that i want to say over, over the speaker you know when you i remember when i used to live in the states there are some houses actually even apartment complexes you can press the button and speak and say you want to go to so and so's house or call them from from the gate that's the idea and that thing would be ringing from here and anyone can get to it it doesn't have to be me the owner of the house anyone in the house can easily come to the corridor and answer here who it is and open the door and when we put this here you'll notice i have so many double sockets in my house that's the one good thing that i feel this electrician advised me and um so we put this here so that if i ever get to the vacuuming stage um if i get a vacuum i could easily plug it from here and vacuum the rest of the house uh on this side again a lot more messes like i said these things came about when the guys were here to do the roofing not the ceiling but like the wood and the, uh, it has a name when you're doing roof yeah how the wood it has a name i don't know what it is but you know that roofing part that's where they made the mess so now we are in the master uh bedroom so let's start with the oh so this is my like hot shower button love this button right there again like that one in the guest bathroom this is supposed to be like dream my dressing area but i feel like i can't even put a table here or anything so i don't think that's gonna work but yeah here's my so now we're in my guest bedroom and yeah we have this here like just like in the guest bathroom it's apparently it's just supposed to be a dressing mirror light or whatever but i don't think i have enough space here for that so no again all the bathrooms have this kind of door same kind of tiling um nothing special really again we have the you know towel rod over there i still use my i still use a karai to shower and i place it over here because uh, you know after surgery I couldn't bend I used to like place it on one of these tools and I could bend now I enjoy just not bending so much and uh, you're wondering why am I in such a big nice or big boring house and showering in my karai and it's because my plumbing is not done so obviously we still don't have the hot shower done together here remember the way I've opened the tap in the other bathroom and it poured water water is coming in it's not like plumbing in my master bathroom is not working it's working water is coming in but there's an issue there's a leakage like right here once you start opening this tap you notice the water is starting to form over here and you're wondering where is that water coming from and then on this wall now on the outside of this wall um there's this water that starts to form on the wall and i'll actually insert a picture of it because i do have it and that's what made me and my nephew fall out because one day once we started pumping water i i started you know obviously fetching water from here and then i noticed there's a lot of water forming so it took me a couple of days to realize there's a leakage in the piping plumbing pipes behind this uh tiled wall so i called him about it and he said well it's not our fault it's probably the people who are doing the plastering that they broke the plumbing pipes so i'm like bro like me i can't tell who did it is it them or you but me i doubt it because how come they didn't break the other ones and they would break doing what plastering you're just putting you know the cement and doing a bunch of that like how is that gonna break a pipe to a point where it leaks me i just thought and you know these plumbing pipes have a lot of joints and knobs so me i told him i'm thinking it's you guys maybe kuna play some kutite and i don't even think it's a broken pipe me i thought maybe it's somewhere one of the joints that's not well tightened and but he was not accepting the blame and he was telling me 
that oh bas nitakuja kuangalia next week the whole week goes he doesn't come then i went and told his big brother about it and the brother spoke to him cuz me i thought well maybe a congregation of brother ake atachukulia serious cuz the brother was telling him even if it's not your fault why don't you just go you know cuz i know she's your auntie or you're related but treat her like a client client akikwambia if a client tells you there is an issue with something just go and check even if it's not your fault you know just at least go check and offer her a solution so he said he would he would come he wouldn't come so i would text him i would call him and then um i went ahead and told his mom and uh, to speak to him and his mom was like oh you know maybe sometimes the fault is not his but he will still come you know he's been very busy i'm like he's been busy yet i'm him a client and i've paid him the amount of money that he charged me to nini which was not so expensive by the way so sometimes cheap is expensive so you know i'm like and actually my foreman didn't want him to do the job but because he's my nephew and i feel like he have seen him and heard him also do work for other people like there's a cousin of mine who's constructing some airbnbs here in narok and he's the one who's been doing plumbing for him so me i assumed i know my cousin wouldn't go for a shoddy worker so if he's doing work for him for a long time for over a year then he's a good guy so i mean in his job so let me and he's my family so let me support him because you know some people would start saying i'm assuming they would start saying ah you know these people they don't even can support you your family cannot even support you only strangers so me i was like since his family let me give him the job <sighs> so anyway um he ends up frustrating me and then every time when i go to town i pass by their place and i tell so one day i told the mom you know why so and so why isn't he coming he's like oh ako business you nini nini then i was so angry i told her you know what and and actually i was joking i was not serious like like i would do this but i said to her you know what i would tell him akicheza me i'll take him to to nini i'll take him to the police if he plays with me I'll, i'll go take him to the police then the mom was like well if you take him to the police mtu akipelekwa police ni kutolewa tu anatolea ngo basically if you if we take him to the police we'll just go and get him out so i was like ah kumbe even the mother really you know she it's not like she cares that much at it i have an issue and i need to be helped so i decided so the guy then was told the message and he texted me he's like i'm coming tomorrow this is like after one month after me complaining and telling him i've been having a leakage in this bathroom inside and outside the house of this wall so one month later he texts me and he's like by the way i'm going to come uh next week and if it's and if it's not my fault it, i'm not going to pay for it and then on top because i told him don't even bother don't come and then um before we even got into this whole argument about it i remember him saying well we'll just break the tiles so that we can look you know that's what actually they need to happen it needs to happen the plumber needs to break this neatly done tiles that i've paid for like you know like construction is not easy i bought these tiles i paid for the fundi he did a great job only to find that there is an issue with the leakage and then now we have to break this neatly done wall to fix that nini problem so me i say it apana me i don't think i'll fix this wall it may even take 10 years before i fix it me i don't mind showering in akarai but i'm not gonna like imagine me now niaribui wallet it just so that i can use the shower no i'm not going to do that I'll, even if it's fetching water i'll be fetching outside or from the other bathrooms but i'm not gonna nini gonna mess with that wall because it hurts it really hurts me such a new house it's not even a year old and then nianze kufanya such major breakages and repairs he pissed me off so badly by the way um yeah so that's the rest of the bathroom so yeah that's why i use these tools now and buckets and carriers to shower um nothing special so yeah that water is for me to flush the toilet oh yeah and then we have my toilet oh yeah you might be wondering what this seat is most of you i'm sure some of you may know this is a commode it's usually used by like the elderly in the nursing home or sick people since i had surgery eh hey, it used to be so hard for me to walk let alone try to sit in a toilet and you see how low the toilet is luckily i had bought this commode for my granny cuz um i knew she would be coming to visit me some days and my mom had bought her a commode like this but they bought this in nairobi 
I think I bought it for like 6k. I don't think it's even 7k. I want to say around 6k in Nairobi. And I was impressed to know that we have such things in Kenya actually. So my mom had sent me one day to buy her a commode. So she has this in Regiangare. So I bought this one for her so that when she comes to visit, she can use it. Because you know, when you're older, um, it's so easy for you. Your bladder can't hold it. If, it if, for her, if she feels like she needs to go to the bathroom, it doesn't take long for her to... She doesn't need like a long distance to go. As soon as she feels it, she needs to be able to pee because of the bladder. She's gotten older. So I bought this for her to use here but guess who ended up using it me after i had the surgery because it's much more comfortable like it has these two handles i could hold myself if i needed to stand up because for a while remember i had a house girl who seemed like she didn't want to be bothered a lot so i had to like stand myself up and then when she left you know i still had to help myself up so this commode has been the best thing that could ever happen to me after surgery and um, so i love it i love using it and i'm still using it now even though i'm able to stand on my own right now but because it's still comfortable like i don't because remember i don't have to do the a lot of bending bending so that's it again in that bathroom you see the camber because they have issues with that window as well but that's that for my guest bathroom oh let me see on this other side some people say it's big me i don't think it's big like i do not think it's big i wanted a big bathroom that i could even put a bathtub you know but i feel like this one uh, i'm not happy for a master bathroom I, I really wanted a big bathroom that i could have a bathtub but it will do because i think a shower is way better than a bathtub so on this other side we have the the sink that i so see now if i need to wash my hands in my bathroom i have to make sure i put water in here for me to wash my hands and then pour the water here because remember because of the plumbing i cannot turn the gauge is it the gauge or the gate valve for this master bathroom because if i do it will start leaking here and leak on the outside i'll insert that picture you see how bad that damage is so that means then I also cannot use water here so there's no water coming out because of that plumbing issue and yeah another gate valve I don't know what it's for and then Fundi Mwangi inserted this for me for my towels really nothing special for this boring bathroom of mine although I love it I love this gray tiles y'all you have no idea so guys I took these two pictures sometime last year um, and they basically show the leakage that I was telling you about inside my master bathroom floor and on the outside of my master bathroom wall when I open uh, the taps inside my master bathroom this is what happens and I don't know if you can see clearly but there are like three white dots uh, dripping under the silver pipe and basically those uh that is water leaking uh in my guest bathroom that i was mentioning and i don't know why it happened because those uh the pipe that we bought was new so i don't know how i need to fix that maybe change it i don't know so now we have this section of the bedroom which is mainly uh the closet area i have double closets or two closets for his and hers because i remember when i used to live in north carolina it's the first time that i ever saw the his and hers um what do you call it sinks in the bathrooms and so i knew that this one uh closet area will not be enough for me because i have a lot of clothes as you can see i have some in these uh what do you call it suitcases as well so i have so much so a lot of clothes these bags so i knew i needed more space than this one section so we decided because i wanted a big master bedroom we decided to put two closet areas and of course uh, the closet area is also unfinished uh, like I said, we're going to have cabinets on top, on the bottom, and the doors uh, alike. And then that's that. And then here we have my bed. You know, I don't have like one of those nice fancy beds that you see in people's um, houses on YouTube. Uh, I like it for now. I don't know if I'll ever need to change it. So for now it works but then again you see similar unfinished gaping holes 
um, that we have here double sockets double socket on the other side as well um, yeah here's my window area I think you've probably noticed this before that's also another issue so nothing really to show on this in this room other than that i feel like it's spacious enough I'm, I'm i'm happy with it i feel it's big it could have been bigger if it needed to i think i just like big rooms so at least for now i'm happy with it um yeah this is supposed to be my study area when we built the house i actually wanted a secluded study room you know where I, if i'm doing online work working from home you know stuff where there's also editing my videos like i could just go somewhere to just do office related work however because i was with a contractor and i had told him that i want an office and he had asked me what my budget was and so he decided that i shouldn't have a room because if I did, he said it would add the number of square feet and the number and the amount of money that I would need uh, for construction and also to pay him. So he convinced me that we don't, we remove the study room so that I could be within my budget. So I ended up telling him that then that I need a big bedroom that could have, you know, a study area. So that's how I ended up um what I ended up doing in my bedroom to have like a study table it's supposed to be clear than this it just has a lot of things right now and I had this desk built in Nairobi custom made so yeah that's it nothing else of course I have the mirror as well I, he had suggested that Sijui I do I make this a makeup area and stuff me I'm not a makeup person even if I'm a makeup person I feel like I don't need like a whole makeup area table so this works for me nothing else really yeah again we'll put a lot of pictures <laughs> over here so that's it for my house tour and i hope you liked it by the way i don't know if you can see it but there's a huge crack in between here it's the first time i'm see that crack it's gone it starts all the way over there coming down where is it and i don't understand why like all the way and that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you found it boring i really can't help it i'm just showing my home as it is i try to be realistic and authentic uh, in my videos so you know this is how it looks like this is what it is if you don't like it that's fine if you like it awesome and yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support by liking commenting sharing subscribing and also by supporting me financially and i wish you all the best in your endeavors